I'm going to go ahead and get started with bag six. Bag six is your transmission. Uh, well, it also has shock tires and everything else. So I've gone ahead and spread some of the parts. Uh, you're going to see a few more parts that are in that bag. These are from previous bags. We're just going to keep them off to the side and continue on. So we're going to need the two halves of the transmission. These are the two halves uh, that go right like this. Uh, and here, let me just trim it just a tad bit. I missed a spot. All right. And if we orient them this way, so we're going to need a few little things. One, we're going to need a bearing. And there's a bearing that goes in here. And that bearing just drops in. And then this will just sit in there. Uh, so it's, let's see, why is this not matching? That's too big. It's one of the smaller ones. So it's one of the medium ones, not the smallest of the medium, but it's the medium. So it'll fit, it'll slide right in there. And this is where uh, the shaft goes. Now there's going to be another one, same size, other side, that will sit there. This aluminum rod is going to go right in here. That's for the idler gear. Now the idler gear is this one. So those two slightly larger ones, those will go in there. No, they will not. They're still too large. Man, I want to go ahead and install them. Uh, so there it is. And there it is. So this will go right in here. Uh, Now, uh, we can go ahead and grab the other half. Uh, let's see, am I missing anything? Nope. And this will just go in here and it'll close up and so that is it. Uh, so now we just need these two screws. Those are the 16 millimeter screws and so they should be these two really, actually no, these are far more than 16. Uh, 16 millimeter might be this one here. Uh, that is it. All right, so these are the 16. And we are just going to place these two extremes on the lower part. Uh, so we're just going to drive these in, and that'll hold our halves together. Here goes the other one. Now the transmissions of uh, the higher end kits for Team Associated on two wheel drives, they are essentially the same transmission. They are interchangeable. So if you have a B6, uh, T6 or an SC6, uh, you can swap these out. Uh, here we go. So we have that little section. Now we have to look for that little horn and can't seem to find it. And here it is. It's this aluminum piece right here. I was expecting a plastic piece the way it looked. Uh, all right. Uh, if you look at the way this is cut, so you see that little groove that little groove right in here, right in there. That's gonna key in right here. Uh, so this will sit here and that actually holds the two halves together. So just snap right in place. Uh, to be honest, I never really understood the, the design. Uh, behind it because there's a screw that goes right in between the two halves uh, Which I never I never got never understood why uh, But here we go now Here it 
calls for thread lock. Uh, that's because these go out here on the far edges, but it doesn't really tell you where to place them. Uh, it looks like they might be in the center. I'm gonna go for the center uh, right in there, but first I need to put that little tiny screw that's gonna hold it right in here, and for that, uh, I'm gonna need an eight millimeter countersunk screw. So eight millimeter will be this one right here. And there we go. And is there a small one? Oh, there is a smaller one. So it's the thin one. Uh, it's the 2.5. Uh, is this a 2? It is a 2. Good thing I didn't force the threads on there. So make sure that you're using this 2.5, which is the thin one. Uh, and these go toward the rear. Well, actually, be toward the front. Uh, but here we go. Not working. Back it out. I don't think this sat properly. Maybe, yeah, there we go. All right, you just need to make sure this thing seats properly. And, now I'm going to drive it. As soon as you feel some resistance, go ahead and stop because again, that screw is going right between the two halves. Uh, all right, now we have that. So we're going to go ahead and grab one of these ball studs. Now we're going to put two of those spacers and so that's going to use a two millimeter driver. And we're gonna go for the center, uh, just for this build. And again, if you've already looked up a setup sheet and you know where you want it, just place it there. There we go, so the other one, and we'll go ahead and place both of these. All right, that is set. Uh, so now at this point, uh, we need to work for these links uh, for the sway bar. Uh, so those links, you're going to notice these little screws without heads. Uh, that's what those are. Now, we need those little plastic bits, and those plastic bits are not in this bag. And again, this is the issue with Team Associated. They're in that parts tree where we took the little links off for the front sway bar. And they're right here, so it's these tiny ones. So you're gonna need just four of them. And I don't know why. I mean, I guess it saves money to just keep things. I mean, eventually, if you look for the stuff, you'll figure it out. Uh, and here we go. So you're gonna drive one about halfway in uh, less than halfway in really uh, because you're gonna need a space now It'd be nice if they had a two millimeter spacer then Yeah, you know, I wouldn't have to guess uh, But it's all right Now these things are going to be a little offset So don't over tighten the don't go too far in My little ruler here. Let's see that's three millimeters so Let's go a little farther in Right, that's about two, and I'll fix that once everything is built, and I know which way to drive it. Uh, here we go, so we're going to start 
get this thing going. And I'm gonna get this a little closer. All right, that looks about right. There we go. All right, we have those two links. Now we're gonna need one of these little set screws. This little depressor, there we go. A little bit of thread lock and now this collar. Uh, there we go. And I'm gonna bring the soy bar in. I'm gonna make sure it's about halfway uh, so recommendation measure, I'm just going to eyeball it for now. Right. So we're finished with this step. Now, something else, uh, these little links. So you're gonna drive one in uh, one side and one on the other, but uh, I'm actually gonna skip a step and I'm just gonna go ahead and put them on the sway bar. I find it to be a lot easier if I put these on the sway bar and then I link everything up later. Uh, I, I don't quite understand why they do this step first. I'm sure there's a reason behind it. I'm not gonna follow it though. So we'll do that. And just make sure that this is flush. Oops. So as long as that's flush, you're good. And let's go ahead and grab one more. And let's see. All right. right there and snug is all you need. Uh, so I have that. Now we can go on to the next part and this is where we get to the differential. So we have the differential right in here. This is uh, one that was built prior. You're going to grab those very large uh, bearings. They're going to go right here and then uh, you will need these. Now it's going to be up to you whether you want to have a zero, a one, a two, or a three. It all depends on which way you flip them. So if you just put this in, it'll snap on. Uh, these can wear over time, so they do make an aluminum version. Uh, I may consider that at another time. It just, they didn't have them in stock. So that's why I'm just building it this way and I kind of need this so I can race in less than a week. Uh, so I don't have time to order them or anything. Uh, now, if you look at the orientation of the differential, this rounded side of the differential, this is going to go, if we hold the transmission this way, it's gonna go on this side. So the opposite side of that shaft, I will drop in here. Now, I actually want this to be high. So I will mount it this way. Oops, there we go. Uh, and there's a reason why I want it high. Uh, later on I can try something else. But something that you're gonna need is you're gonna need to do grease. Now I did not put the grease yet, but 
I am going to put the grease now. And one thing I'm trying to figure out is why on earth this thing feels like it's binding. Uh, well, let me go ahead and put some grease. And uh, let's see, I want to use that one. This is the one I want to use. That's too much. All right, let's go ahead and do this. Go ahead and loosen these up just a tad. I mean, they're, they're not overly tight. They're... Interesting. So it looks like it's sat properly. Well, uh, let me check it real quick. Oh. Oh, this is now working smoothly. Uh, there we go. Uh, one of the screws was simply not sat properly. That was it. Uh, all right, and that completes that section. Uh, so now I can go ahead and work with this one. Uh, so on this part, uh, there's a variety of things that are going on. Uh, one, you need to set the sway bar. So the sway bar is going to sit right in here. Uh, now we're going to need the top cap which is this portion, and this will just go in here. Uh, so this will hold the sway bar in place. Also, this is how you access your differential. All right, perfect. Sway bar, great. Uh, this looks great. So now I need a 316 millimeter. No, sorry. Uh, just two, so I need two and two. So it's going to be, uh, let's see, the 16s go toward the rear. So 16s will go here and the 12s go here. All right, so these are the 16s. We need two of these. And we need two of the 12s. Wait, yeah, this is 16. So where are my 12s? Oh, wait, are they button? Yeah, they are button. There's no 12. Oh, these are my 12s. 12 is so close to 10. There we go. So 16s will go here. And just get it close. I'm not going to drive it all the way in yet. This one. So this one I will drive all the way in. And then I'll go back to that first one. Now remember, uh, just snug it up a bit. And that's all you need. And now I can go ahead and install the 12s, which will go here on opposite sides. Drive it close, and now we'll look at this one on this other side. So this one I'm going to drive all the way, then I'll go back to the other one that's close. And there. And there. All right. And now we will need this and this little drum. So if we orient it based on the picture, this is gonna go in through here. Uh, just grab your pliers and just drive it in. Oh, they're in the way. 
There we go. Perfect. That will go in there. And this piece is going to sit right in here. And for this, I'm going to need a 16 millimeter, which is this one. That's a 16. Nope, that's a 20. That's a 16. And the 16 millimeter is going to hold it in place. I wonder if I got the correct brace. Maybe it's the long brace that I need. Uh, let's see, does it say... Uh, it's the long one. All right, so I'm using the wrong one. Give me a moment. We're gonna go ahead and swap this out. So we need this one for the lay down transmission. So make sure you use that long one. There we go. So we'll place this here and place that here. First time was easier. that and it'll be inside. All right, see the motor is going to be right here in between. That's the reason why. Uh, there just didn't seem to be enough space with the other one. That's how I sort of figured it out. So make sure that you're using the long one. There we go. And uh, now I can go ahead Actually, I'm not even gonna bother with the links yet. So those links, those were on the other ones. I'm just gonna wait until the arms are there. It's a lot easier once the arms are there. Uh, so I'll set those off to the side. Uh, all right, so we have this one. Uh, now we need this screw, which is a 20 millimeter. So it's one of these long ones. And this screw is gonna go right in through here. So we have this little section here. Uh, so now we're going to be installing. So let's go ahead and flip this around. So you're gonna have this go this way. Now notice one, two, three. Uh, those are the three right there. The nice thing is because they're not on the same uh, radius as far as the circle is concerned. Uh, the, what am I thinking? Uh, when you mount this, uh, those screws are going to be in the right spot. Now, I'm gonna need that little shroud first. Here we go. Uh, this one will go here. Well, uh, this is gonna be a tough one. Let me do it this way. So we'll go ahead and do it this way, and now I'm just gonna grab the, here we go. It's these three. So it's the 10 millimeter. And I'll just place those two. I'll just place these two inside just like that and oops go ahead and set that one there all right now i'm going to set the other one oops again pull it out here Boop. and here we go so once i get these two now you need this because this works as a spacer as well, uh, or else this aluminum plate is not going to sit properly. It's going to be at an angle. And then your motor is going to sit at an angle, which means it's not going to mesh properly and you're going to be destroying your spur gear. All right, 
Now for the third one. Now we can go ahead and uh, get the clutch going. Uh, so for the clutch, this will drop in. Now there's a hole, and in that hole, uh, there's a pin, and that one is too small. Where is the pin? Huh, that's interesting. By interesting, I mean annoying. I do not see a pin, and this one. Is this one it? It seems too small. That's, no. It's way too small. Alright, well, let me look for that pin. Uh, so apparently there's this little roll pin. I don't know why they don't just use a regular pin instead of this roll pin. Maybe in case your slipper comes loose, this thing doesn't fly out. But at least make it longer. This is too short. And when you're installing this, be careful. Uh, so one of the reasons why I wasn't putting that much pressure on it, to be honest with the pliers, is I was afraid I would catch my thumb. Now, this is not going in perfectly straight, which means I don't like it. And so there it goes. I should probably use channel locks. That would be better. These are actually too small, these pliers. This little roll pin that goes uh, in here, so I'm just going to place it. Now, I'm going to try to keep it straight, and then I'm going to use these pliers to just drive it in. So I'm trying to keep it straight the entire way, uh, so it actually slides in. Again, this is just a roll pin. So there, I've gotten to the edge, but I want to push this a little farther. Uh, so I'm actually going to use the lower jaw on the bottom so that it doesn't cover up the hole, and the top jaw to just drive it in. I have to close these a little. Uh, let's see if I can keep it in camera and still be able to see. All right, so just, there we go. Nope, too far. Ah, great. Uh, let me open them one notch. Oops, that's too much. Uh, big too much. Uh, a little too much. Oh. Let's see. There we go. Whatever 20th time is the charm, whatever it was. Uh, that is all. So this is going to fit in here. And that's all it grips. So this will go in here. Now once you have that, uh, you're gonna need your gear. And th this little castle side is gonna go toward this. Uh, the smoother side's gonna go toward the inside. So grab one of these friction pads and then these friction pads should just click in place. In like this. And then this will seat right here. The other friction pad will go on the other side and uh, just follow the shape. So the angles go where the angles are and the little tabs go where the openings are. Oh, this is not wanting to cooperate very well. Uh, here we go, right in here. And perfect. There we have it. 
so now that I have the entire assembly, this is now going to be driven through here. Uh, hold on, I'm on the wrong side. Nope, I'm on the right side. Uh, I should have done it here first. Anyway, this is going to be a pain. Alright. So, this... There's these little flat spots, and that's where everything has to key in. So the problem is, uh, a little recommendation, just glue the pads. That would be my recommendation. Just glue the pads onto the gear. Uh, I'm gonna do it without glue, but just glue them on. That's the way TRX4 works. Let me just flip this. Ah, there we go. Yep, got that. Now I just don't let go. Here we go. Uh, now, you're going to have two of these. Now, one of them is going to have a flat side. Uh, so this one has a flat side. Uh, that's going to hold the spring. So those two are going to sandwich the spring, and then we have the little nut here. Uh, the one with the flat side, that's going to go in here. And that's going to ride on the bearing. So the really flat surface goes up. That's where this is going to sit. And then this one here, uh, the bigger side, so that side, that's going to go towards the spring. So that's going to hold the spring in uh, the correct position. And then the nut is going to go on top and it should be a 5.5 millimeter drive and if you hold the gear and double check the yeah, clutch perfect I can't believe I got it uh, so I'm just gonna drive it in now this is something you can do with uh, clutches uh, something you should not do with uh, what am I thinking? Ball differentials. Uh, let's see, I'll do two out and then uh, I'll adjust later on. Uh, here we go. Okay, slippers in place. Now we get to assemble the shock tire with the wind components. So. Oh, 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 oh,